What is going on guys? We are back on the Primus server and I hope you enjoyed the new intro. It's going to be our intro from now on and I'm pretty excited about it so I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments but what I'm more excited about is what we're doing in this episode today. So I mentioned it in passing last episode but I really really have been meaning to get around to rerouting our power and finally using Tesseracts. Now when I set up the whole power system it was mainly I wasn't using Tesseracts because I didn't have the resources to make all the tesseracts I needed and I was just kind of lazy and then it became you know I don't feel like going back and changing all the setups until you know now so I put it off and put it off and now that we have the ME system and we're getting started with that I decided it's time to go make the tesseracts and just throw them down so uh, I basically have everything we need in uh, my inventory right now I think for the most part uh, you can see I have a bunch of sterling generators and I think they don't stack because they're configured but I'm not sure uh, and we have all these ender chests and that's because we were always wasting ender chests by having to put one ender chest and one sterling generator at each place that needed power so now we can just put one tesseract uh, I think I made one too many I think we'll only need four but whatever uh, you can also see that I do have some ME storage monitors to add to our ME system in the cave down there and I also have taken the advice uh, that was posted in the comments last episode and I have altered the door so you guys will get to see that a little bit later when we go down there but it looks much much better uh, but so after I scrapped all the other power systems I came over here and I started clearing out a little bit of a space down here and the one thing I realized is this thing has so much coal in it so I am not looking forward to breaking this because I don't really have anywhere to put it but I'm almost immediately going to put it back into this uh, barrel. I just need to move some things around first. So what I'm thinking is we're going to put the four sterling generators on this back wall here and we'll run the power along the top and feed it back into this thing and we'll also feed it into a tesseract so they'll give the power to this and then give the power to the tesseract which will go to the rest of the machines uh, and then this barrel will the items will be put in the barrel first and then they'll be pulled out of the barrel just so that you know the barrel is like a buffer for all of it so I guess we can start throwing these sterling generators down I'm gonna have to change the configurations a little bit yeah you can see there yeah this one's already got stuff in it so we actually don't need no we we're gonna need it to pull from the top so I'll have to change that is this one pulling from the top it is is that all it has on it though Yes, okay, great. That one's the only one that's not totally screwed up. Uh, this one doesn't need to be pulling from the front, pull from the top. Okay, so that looks like it's all good, and I'm re I really don't want to break this right now, guys, but I kind of have to. Uh, first, we can break this right here. We can just wrench that out. Uh, there we go. And we'll just put that here, and just have to reconfigure that. Now, this is the only... Whoops. Over-configured it. Is that... All that's configured, no, this side's configured. We do not want that. Uh, this one's the only one with a double layer capacitor. I don't think that's really important. It's really hard to see with the configuration screen up. There we go. Uh, I made this a while ago, and it increases the energy storage and speed of the, mach uh, of the machines, but I don't really think that's important because we're probably not going to run out of energy with what we're currently using. Um, but eventually we will need to upgrade these because I did mention before in one of the earlier videos that I do want to keep this tree farm as our main source of power I don't want to go into you know nuclear power and stuff like we had before just because you know the reactors and all that I do that all the time everyone does that so I want to see how far I can get just on this power uh, which is gonna be a little difficult because it's gonna take a lot of these generators but you know we'll get through it uh, so now I want to get as much of this done as I can before I throw this barrel down because the minute I break that things are gonna go flying everywhere uh, so these are going back to power this, I assume. Huh. Why are they all burning? Where's all this power going? That is... This thing doesn't need power. So I don't know why the hell these... Oh, maybe these have... Do these have internal storage in them? Yeah, I bet that's what they do. I bet that's what they have. They have internal storage. Okay, so we... We're going to leave that item kind of... Okay, here... Here's the moment of truth. I'm feeling like we can place this... Uh, where do we want to place this? Actually, can we leave it right here? Um, no, I kind of want to move it over here. 
I don't know. I don't know. This is difficult. This is a difficult question for me because if I want to have it go to this thing first, then it's going to... Yeah, okay, good. They all stopped. It's going to have to go down here and then be put into... Oh, wait, no. It's, it's pulling it out of all of these machines, right? No, it's putting them in there. Okay. So I guess what we can do if we really wanted to is just this. And then we got we got to sever the connection here. Is it shift clicking or just there we go okay so severed the connection there so it should use this as a buffer and make sure all this is good so it's still insert and it's still extract and then these all need to be insert 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 and insert okay so in theory I'm pretty sure you can pull out of every side of the job barrel but we're just going to test this out. We're going to take half of that out. Oh, yeah, this needs to be set to extract. I forgot this is a new one right here. Okay, so it should be pulling it out and refilling this right here. Okay, that is all good. So this thing should work, and it should use this as a buffer. And I don't think we'll ever run out of this. Just or that like we'll need more of a buffer size until we increase our tree farm. But this has been going down ever so slightly when the ME system is hooked up. And with attaching all these new monitors, I expect it to go down faster. So eventually, I think next episode or off camera, I'm going to have to upgrade the tree farm. But for now, we should be okay with this uh, excess supply, I guess you could call it. Uh, and we do have extra in these ender or in the this set of ender chests too. So now we need to hook up the Tesseract, and I'm thinking we'll just throw it down over here somewhere, possibly. Yeah, we can just throw it down over here for now. And I'm the, I'm pretty sure I'm the, the only one without one of these. No, I guess not. Yeah, no. Some people don't have them, but this is going to be sending energy only. And we got to make our own, so we'll just do the typical, I uh, can't even type. We'll just do a typical Rage's power. Um, do we need to set like a frequency for this? I guess. Is there anything set on frequency 7? Nice. Okay, so Rage's power, what is this? 13, 80, 99. <laughs> Boom. What up? Can we not set it as frequency 69? What? Okay, can we, like, let's disable this. Can we, like, yeah, we're going to delete that. Ha. We're going to be that guy. Okay, guys, we're, like, two right now, but whatever. I don't really care. Okay, so this should be good. Should be set on my frequency. Should make, yeah, it's good. That's good. So I'm going to put a trap door here, a carpenter's trap door, and I actually should light this up down here uh, so mobs don't spawn. I'll put a carpenter's trap door there just because we might be coming up and down a little bit. Uh, and we need to go to all these different places now. And I'm going to have to repair this. Jeez. Uh, we need to come over here, though, and just place down these tesseracts. Whoa. Wait. Did I have six? Did I make six? Jeez. I don't even know. I must have. Okay, that's weird. And this is going to be receiving only. And tell me we are receiving power. I need to cook something. What can I cook? I need some cobble. I guess I can just cook some wood. Just make sure we're getting the getting power. Make sure it refills. Nice. Okay. So we are good to go with that. That system is set up. Oh, you know what? I need to fix this. I almost forgot. Oh, do I not? Oh, I gotta go grab some more, some more spruce wood. We'll do that, and then we'll we'll go repair the rest of the stuff after. Luckily, this does not use one. I think that's why I made one too many. Is I forgot we use solar power for that, uh, just because it really doesn't need much more power. Spruce wood, come to me, spruce wood. We got planks there, right here. Here we go. I might have missed the planks if we had them somewhere. Oh, you know what? I also want to make a carpenter's trap door. I forgot. Where did I put my carpenter's blocks? 
Oh, right here. Is this a... No, that's not a trap door. We need... We need a little bit more. Um, sticks, and there. Okay. This should be good. There we go. Carpenter's hatch. And we have cobblestone. We need some cobblestone with us, too. Just because that's what we want to color it as. And I do have my spruce wood, too. Just want to make sure I'm not stupid and forgetting that. Because that's the main reason we came back. So this whole setup is done in there. Uh, now it's a matter of how I want to set this hatch up. Um, I feel like if I put it right there, it's going to look weird. You can definitely see that. So... What if, can we like, can we do this? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can't even tell that that's a hatch. Nice. So the handle goes, you can't even see the handle. That's sweet. And then we don't need to worry about, oh, can I climb, can I climb up that? I wonder if I can do that without my Sojourner's sash on. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. I didn't know that worked as like a ladder. I've used that before and I don't recall it being like that. This thing's awesome, though. Love that thing. Yeah, that is that is phenomenal. Sweet. Okay, so that should be good up there. Uh, we don't need any power up there for the time being. Uh, so the only thing... I'm going to do the tree farm over here first, just because it probably needs to cut down some trees. Uh, we're going to have to cut down these trees to get in there. No, we don't. We do not. Okay, it's a little dark down here. I'm actually going to light it up. I'm... I'm hoping I didn't light it up last time just because I didn't have torches, but whatever. Uh, so just Tesseract. I'm pretty sure I have my last one. I'm actually going to place this torch somewhere else. I'm pretty sure I hooked up my last thing right here. Hook that up to Rage's Power. And it's in Receive Only. Haha. -ha. That is so loud. I hate that noise. It finally starts going again. Okay, and just make sure that this is getting full energy now. Nice. Look at all those apples. Make some apple crisp. I'm actually a big fan of apple crisp. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of just eating plain apples, but man, that apple crisp with the cinnamon. Oh, good stuff. Uh, so, last thing we need to do today, and I'm gonna I'm gonna surprise you guys. I'm gonna get a slow build up. Okay, we're gonna build up to this inconspicuous door. I'm going to see if you guys even remember where it is, okay? We're just going to do a slow reveal. Slow reveal. Wabam. Where is this door even? Like, where? Oh, my God. Okay, this is pathetic. It's right there. We all know it's right there. Uh, I'll show you guys with the hammer what you can do with it. So you can right-click. That's the door we started with. And I am so grateful that someone posted this comment because I completely forgot about the hammer. Now, if you left-click with the hammer, you can change the door handle, but that doesn't really matter because when you go through them, like some of them are like, I thought this would be what we would use because I completely forgot about the last option too. And then I was getting a little disappointed and then that one looks stupid. Uh, but then this, boom, there's no door handle, no nothing. You just know where the door is and that is that. So we can use this now. Uh, might have to alter this wall a little bit to be a little bit more inconspicuous. And I may reform this area down here a little bit to be more ME system friendly. Uh, but so if we come back here, we can hook up the last Tesseract that we need. And I did fix this cable right here. You guys might have been ripping your hair out. Because the previous setup, I had one over there and one over here. And so therefore I needed this cable. But by putting them both over here, this was just a wasted cable. So, haha, -ha, I have beat the game. Uh, we want to not have to deal with any of that. Only receiving energy right now. What was it? What? What? What was that? That was weird. Uh, so this should be all going again. It wasn't going before because it, it just shuts off if you don't have the power. Uh, and obviously none of these are important to us like at all. So when I hook up these storage monitors, I need to figure out where I'm going to hook those up right now. Um, I was thinking we could hook them up on this wall over here, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I guess we can. Do I have... Oh, wait. I have the stone in here. <laughs> yeah. Get wrecked. Uh, I also was planning on doing an auto-crafting system for this, so I may need to clear out some more space down here. But these can just kind of go over here. We're going to need to cut some space, though. 
So let's, oh man, I should have made six to make this even. Whatever. Um, we're going to have to cut back in here a little bit. So if they're all going to go here, we're going to have to use our saw and cut up some stuff again. Because I'm pretty sure these monitors are going to be the same as the other ones. And we're going to need to wire it. And it's just going to use up more power. But whatever. Uh, where, where am I guessing? Am I, am I going to guess right? How many blocks ever do we need to go? One, two, three, four, five, probably like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We're going to probably run into something we don't want to break. Are we going to hit anything? Oh. Hey, that was perfect. Cool. Uh, okay, I thought I was going to run into one of these, but whatever. We can actually do this, too. Uh, because we're going to have to place another cable down, we can get rid of... Let's place this down just so just so it stays on fully. We can get rid of that right there and just run it like this. And that's completely and utterly useless, but whatever. Okay, and they're going to run right here. I'll make another one too, so it's going to it won't be even today, but eventually it will be. I do believe you need these, so Oh, okay, so it places like that. So what we need to do... No! No, it's bouncing away! No, come back. Come back! Come back to me. Okay, I gotta think about this for a second. Uh, so we're gonna have to extend each one out. But we're gonna have to do this individually. Oh my god, okay, this is gonna suck. You guys will see why in a second. Uh, cut one of the. Well, let's cut two up. That should be good enough. Okay, so that's what we want. We want covers. Okay, so they're gonna be indented like one, so they'll help be right here. So the first one, easy peasy. Oh, okay, will it, it? Oh no, it'll actually break them up on its own. Okay, I was afraid that if I like, w I wouldn't be able to place that there, but it actually breaks these up on its own, which is good. Okay, so we got to make a little area for each one to go in. Nope. Yes. And then, boom. Sweet. That is awesome. So I can just have these, like, covering the walls in here. That'll look badass. It's not going to be everywhere, but we can have, like, a couple pockets of those just, like, all over the walls in here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Almost done. No! I was afraid that was going to happen. Um, do we... Where? Did I just misplace that one? Did I place that behind it? No, I don't know. That's weird. I feel like I just lost one. Okay, we need one there and one there. And that is good to go, right? Okay, one of these isn't going to have a terminal in it. Unfortunately, what? That's such. What, place five of these? That is such a weird. That is weird. Uh, so for now, we can just slap up there, like, let's just say some stone. Boom, stone in there. Throw some more back in. Ho ho! We got 27 stone. I'll use this for more useful things, but for now, whatever. And we will just throw that up there to cover it for now. So when we when we get what we need, we can just kind of like break this, and we're good. Uh, now my question, and this is probably going to be the last thing we do before the episode ends, is what is going on with our power? I'm curious if we're just like sucking the life out of this thing. Ho oh, ho, love it. Hmm. Okay, it actually isn't that bad. Whoa, these both have... Okay, so two of these are upgraded. Nice. I did not know that. So I really think the next thing that we need to do is upgrade our tree farm and the reason I say that is because it's really easy to upgrade the tree farm all I'm gonna have to do is clear out a little bit more space around there because uh, you can just throw upgrades into the machines so if I were to make a little bit more room over here we can just toss an upgrade in here and an upgrade in the planter and I really don't want to move the barrels but I'd have to move them a little bit uh, the nice thing though is if the system gets backed up 
uh, this will fill up this barrel, and then once it fills up this barrel, uh, which is another buffer, so we'll have like three buffers of stuff in case for some odd reason we're going to run out of power. Uh, but once it runs out of that, these trees will stay grown. I apologize for that noise. Uh, and it just won't cut them down anymore. So uh, I think that'll be good. And that, that yeah, that'll we'll, that's what we'll do next episode. We will, we will upgrade that tree farm. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to leave feedback on the intro. Uh, the length, you know, if you like it. It's pretty simple. I made it myself, but that means that I can change anything I want. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like, and I will talk to you guys later.